and uh, go communicate with the web server and say, hey, uh, a soda has been sold, or a bag of potato chips, or cookies, or makeup. Uh, this patent deals with claims of physical items sold through a vending machine. So that, in, uh, uh, that includes all things that are tangible and sold through a vending machine. But anyway, it'll go to the web server, a harvest program, and then it'll ask for a number of a commercial to, to, to retrieve and then display it on the audio speakers and the video screen. Also, it has a surveillance system, this camera system. So the next vending machine you go up to with a big screen and TV on it, and you think you're watching television, that vending machine is actually watching you because of the surveillance systems that are integrated from Vendinet Incorporated. Okay, now, you're going to have to explain to me what that is. And dumb it down, layman's terms, exactly what the patent's for, what it will do for a vending machine. All right. I need that so we can understand exactly what you're talking about. Can you just tell us what you're about that too? This patent deal with elements of integrated systems as far as communication networks, the satellite, T, uh, uh, cable, and telephone communication networks, wherein you hit a button on this machine okay. and uh, it'll call up a signal via the internet. You've been working on this, this very patent for how many years? Wow. You've worked on, you worked on a, a prototype or a concept since that long, correct? I put together to get to this point where you were finally awarded this patent for 17 dollars. Tell me about that. Well, we had to put together, uh, for all you want to know and how to people out there, how to acquire a patent. That's a long process. You got to go forth with uh, various elements. We had to uh, file a United States application in Washington, D.C. Uh, then you have to wait a period of time and they'll get back with you with rejection. And then you have to go through, it's basically court uh, system, federal court system to say, hey, government, I bet you I'm the only man in the world thinking like this. So they're going to say, well, no, you're not. And these are the reasons why you have to go before the board. We had to go about eight times to Washington, D.C. in various hearings to uh, finally come up. We had many rejections during a 14-year process. But the government conceded and said, yes, truly, you are the first in this internet tech, uh, vending technology. Uh, I invite you to go study the patents and let the patent speak for itself. We are the first. We're vending that incorporated. Tuskegee, Alabama, our interests are bringing jobs home to the Alabama people. Does this have an application besides a drink machine or, or some type of a vending machine? What can this be used in for? Some people are asking, does these machines have any other application other than drinks? Yes, uh, there are 90, 93 claims and claim of 76, a method for providing a customer with access to the internet via a vending machine, said method comprising providing a vending machine to vend at least one physical item for purchase by a customer. Now that claim entails if is it, uh, there is a tangible item, and I mean is if you can touch it and it's sold through a vending machine, it was invented in Tuskegee, that's right, Alabama. Is there people that have been saying to you, uh, James, you're a crazy man for trying to come up with something like this. Uh, well, yes, uh, they, they, they uh, eccentric, uh, crazy, a word that might be used. Well, look at uh, uh, Thomas Edison, most his wife uh, say, well, listen, look at this, he's out there trying to cram a fire in the light bulb. Yes, today we call that, uh, you know, barber, he was trying to cram fire in the bottle. We call that a light bulb today. So most inventors uh, are kind of wacky, yes. Way. But this is something that you really have taken serious, put a lot of time into. You and your partners, or your partner, and you want to really seriously make it and make a go of this in Tuskegee, in this building, in this area. Talk to me about being on site in Tuskegee. How important it is for you to to keep this in Tuskegee or to start. It's been a uh, financial drain on you. Have you had to pay, put a lot of time and money into making this happen? How soon do you think you can begin? production of these devices? These devices are all already in production uh, on, on several uh, instances, uh, entities, various companies are all using these uh, devices and some we have as licensees. 
I'll tell you, I'll give you this hint. You can go to uh, Phelps Mall in Atlanta and Decal Mall. They cross the street from each other and they're on display in the malls. We soon uh, spread them out in Alabama. So what you feel like when you saw that you got this pack? Yeah. James, turn it. What Ashton said he said, it'll sound like a good comeback. What?